like we said before, everything in Arstein exists as a, as, a, as a style. Having said that, we do have a style for, uh, for stud framed walls. Obviously, you are encouraged to make your own because in every country the regulations are different and you might use different materials, but we have one to get you started and that would help us to explain the basics. So what do we see here? Yeah, so now talking about this, I already created one um, wall with the, with the basic uh, Thimber 200 uh, setting. And now what I'm about to say is that when you draw these things, uh, again, these sort of uh, structures, they have their own um, specific connection when we talk about corners and the software mm -hmm. automatically solves that. Uh, based on the settings that you have within the wall. Now, to be able to talk about the details inside this uh, structure, let me show you one more thing. I will add a window. The same thing would happen if I add the, add the door. See, now I can have a window that is falling into the frame system. Yes. That is so usually two essential steps. most of the time, but sometimes you cannot do that. And the software will also automatically solve that. So let's say this window must fall here when it intersects everything and that's cut, cutting through all the studs and things like that. In that case, the software will auto solve this situation, not only in the 2D level, but also in the 3D. Let's just go here and see and say what we talk about. If I select it, I already see the close of the structure within. But let's talk about how you can set something like that up. It's here in the wall framing. And in a wall framing, you can tell what sort of items you would like to enable and with what sort of values. Now, let's just start at the top. The, the floor plate, and actually you can always see here, it's selected. The floor plate is this one. You can select a, a certain cross section. We are talking about uh, timber frame structure now, but as you can see, the software allows you to, to select different cross sections. This could be a steel profile. This could be, uh, you know, I don't know, a, a certain uh, style of, from a maker. If you draw that cross section and you bring it in, you can use that and you can yes. change the material as well because that's here. You can change what, what sort of material you would like to see. So you can change this, the shape, you can enable and disable its visibility. And there is one uh, interesting thing, which is, uh, I think it's interesting when we talk about uh, visible uh, stud structure, it's like the Fachwerk in, in, in Germany, mm -hmm. when you see the, see the, uh, the studs come in out of the wall and there are the bricks within, and with this offset you can just shift You can it, make sure uh, that it, it shifts outside, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So there is the top plate, there is the, the counterpart, which is the, the, the floor plate, and there is the top plate. You can always double them, take care that there is, in, there is an option here which allows you to double, triple, or multiple uh, um, uh, these uh, items if you need. If you don't, you just erase the, the ones that you don't want. There are the wall studs, these are the at, at the end. There is the left and the right side, you can have, you can have different settings. Uh, there, there are the inner studs and uh, these come with a little bit more of the settings because here you can set up the rhythm of these the distance yes. between the two you can even set up the fixed step or you can set up the numbers you can just say that okay i just would like to have i don't know 12 of them and uniform step them uh, or, or or i would like to have a specific value and then solve it so if i change it here let's say this should be i don't know one meter say so this one and i click on redraw the software solves it automatically not only these, the rest are not changing uh, by this setting. But for example, there is a connecting uh, thing here, uh, which is the, sorry, it will be the cripple stud. I will, I will go for that later. There is a header, that's for the window. I can again double it or I can uh, set up something that is standing and, and mm -hmm. set up, I don't know, triple copies of it. There is the saddle, it's at the bottom. Again, with the same settings. Jack studs. They are, two sides of they the are something that you can, uh, again, you can just simply turn them on or off and change their properties because some of these uh, framework structures, they just don't have these. It's, it really depends from country to country and from solution to solution. You can always enable and disable them. But if, if it's there, uh, you use it. If it's not, then you just disable it. And as, as you can see, it automatically uh, makes the changes for the connecting structure. So now if I would like to have a jack stud, I, I just use it and I change the properties. If I have a king stud, which is in this case this one here, I can um, set, it, set it up and uh, set up a different cross section if it's stronger or something like that. And there's this cripple stud uh, here, uh, which is at the bottom and the top of this uh, window, which is kind of a supportive or, or strengthening structure. If I don't want that, I can completely, again, turn it off. But if I want that, I can change the numbers or the distance and I can say, okay, I should only have a little bit few 
a uh, few words than this here, mm -hmm. and I would like to center the spacing. Uh, sorry, uh, the, the 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 spacing instead of the item, and in that case, this is what happens. That's right. There's the noggin, and actually, that's what I uh, mixed up with the cripple stud. The noggin here. This is the one that makes some kind of uh, strengthening effect between the studs. And this is, uh, by default, they are altering each other. So then they're not, not in level. They're altering each other, but you can change that. And then, of course, you can set up the, their height uh, within the structure. So if it's, uh, I don't know, at 1.5, I can click on redraw. And now this is what happens here. Perfect. <laughs> one uh, one thing to show us when you when you're done with with showing this part is that uh, this is actually part of a, of a multi-layered wall, right? Yeah. So if you if you could go back to the to the layer selector and show where actually this layer is, but well, the reason why it's it's within the within the uh, the layer with the um, the insulation, insulation is that this is the layer in the compound wall settings with this indicator here. It's not because of that's the, that's the core layer. The core layer and this indicator can be two different things. Uh, this indicator is here. This is how you can set it. This, uh, that's the so-called displayed layer. That's kind of the main layer of this uh, uh, setting. If I click here and I set it up as the displayed layer, see, I it's see. not automatically becoming the core layer. That's mm -hmm. a different thing. If I say that this is the displayed layer, then, then the structure automatically moves to that Jumps part. to the next position. It's, it's automatically right. sent uh, to that part. I see. So it's actually, this is one way to automatically shift uh, the structure outside, but uh, usually, of course, we, we put it in, in a proper layer with, with the same thickness, so it's automatically uh, appearing right.